Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, this is a quick video on how to build your own cow. This is specifically for the Formosa 2, which I had a hard time finding uh, replacement cows, and the ones that you get from GWS are really terrible. They, um, you know, if you do a rollover or something simple like that, they just get shredded very quickly and they're difficult to repair. So, I decided to make my own out of PET bottles. So, this isn't a new idea. I basically copied this from other folks, but uh, I didn't see any videos on it, and I thought it'd be a little easier if uh, there was one available. So, the first thing you do, you get a spare cow, and you make a plug. And a plug is like so. Okay, and you make this by getting yourself some of this Durham's water putty. Get two containers of this, mix them up into a, you know, a pretty thick uh, putty-like material, and just dump them right in here. Let it sit overnight, and what you wind up with is a really pretty amazing copy, or a plug, of the cow. Uh, I put an aluminum dowel in there, I just drilled a hole and epoxied it in there. Uh, you can use wood or anything else, and it just makes it easy to hold on to it while you shape the cow. So, take yourself a water bottle. I've taken the label off. I'm sure you can figure that out. And uh, what I do is just stick a knife in the bottom of it here, and then just stick some scissors in there, and cut it around. You don't have to worry about being too neat here, because you're going to trim this off when you're done anyway. So there's that. Chuck that out. I hope your shop is neater than mine. Uh, let's see, what do we need to do next? Alright, so we're going to take a paper towel and just wipe the uh, excess water out of the inside of the bottle. I just got some cheapo seltzer water at the grocery store. I think it was about, well, I don't think it was. It was 99 cents uh, a bottle. So, now, what we're going to do is just slide this over the plug, like so. But before that, we need to use some kind of release material because once you shrink this down, it really grabs hold of the plug and it's very difficult to get off. So, uh, someone else pointed this out that this is a great release material, and it is. It's the STP oil treatment. It's really gunky, gooey stuff. So, I take a paper towel, get a little bit of it on there. You don't need much. And that's one of the things here. Don't put too much of this on, because uh, what it'll do is create creases underneath the plastic because the plastic will be shrinking and trying to force this stuff out and it can't so it makes like bumps and creases and so on so you don't want that so just uh, wipe a thin layer on here right good and uh, you get your heat gun heat gun and get that ready and you put the bottle right over the mold like so now, leave yourself some room at the top here, because what happens is you need some of that softer material here to shrink against the top of the plug. If you pull it down too far, you can't shrink this because it's already shrunken, and it's difficult to pull it down over the mold. So, leave it up a little higher, and to be honest with you, I'm still kind of fooling with the technique here. Uh, I've got two perfect ones out of five so far, so we'll see how this one goes. So, crank up the heat gun, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal the bottom first, or not seal it, but shrink it first. And you can put quite a bit of heat to this thing, so don't worry about that. And I think the idea here is, is that you shrink the uh, bottom against the bottom edge of the plug, and what it does is creates a, a edge down there and keeps the uh, plastic from sliding down. We'll see if this technique works. And then you gradually heat the plug, heat the plastic, 
See, I'm spinning it around. And eventually, of course, you'll get to the top of it. I have my uh, gun right now set on the low, lower heat setting, not the high heat. I haven't really tried the high heat because I figured it might be difficult to control. So now you can see as I'm getting towards the top of it, I'm going to continue to put the heat to it. You can uh, start to get those creases out. And now I'm going to start on this upper section and hopefully you can see how it sort of pulls that in around the top of the mold. So that's working nicely. So that's kind of part of the trick I think is to is to not slide that up too far on the mold so it allows it to uh, shrink up here nicely. I think you get the idea there. So when you're done you just take this whole thing and you trim it down at the bottom edge. You just slide a knife in there along there. And what I do is I take a uh, I take a spare prop or something like that and just slide it in the edges. Uh, after I trim the bottom off, I slide the edge in. I slide the prop in, get a little air in there, allow it to release which works pretty good and uh, then I just sort of bang it on the floor and, uh, and it pops out. Then you can finish it any way you want so you scuff up the inside of it with some uh, steel wool, some triple lot steel wool and then just spray paint from the inside and you get a nice glossy finish and your colors inside the cow so that works out pretty cool. Then you wind up with a cow like that, you trim the uh, trim the front of it, of course, and uh, and then paint it up. So there you go. Uh, you have something that's ten times stronger than the original, which is really the reason for doing all this. And of course, you can make more if you need to. But so there you go, the uh, Formosa two cow. Go out and make one today.